Today we're going to decorate this pot. It's a terracotta pot and it's a 17 centimeters high by 17 centimeters wide. And we're going to add this beautiful napkin, Harmony in Blue. Uh, add a little bit of extra gold and leaves and even some stems where there aren't any. And also a nice mottled rim that matches the gold in this napkin. Also, if you check in the comments below, you will see a link to Ninny's napkins, where I got this napkin from. A, um, a discount code as well, so that uh, you can receive 10% discount on your first order. So stay with me today and you'll see how to do this. Hello, my name is Judy West and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. These flowers come from the napkin Harmony in Blue and I cut them out because they're so large it was easy to cut them out and also they didn't have a white background so in order to put it onto white I needed to cut along the edge and not just wet along the edge and tear. So I'm now going to add these to this pot and we're going to use the water method and before I, I cut them out with their layers still on so now I need to take the layers off in order to add them to the pot. Let's spray this all over, get them really, really wet there. Now I just need to get this wet also and put this on napkin side down. Firmly position that on the pot so there's no water underneath and no wrinkles in the napkin. Once it's on there like that I can just carefully peel off the plastic and dab off any excess water. I think this is going to be quite pretty. Now I'll we'll just put that over here while we get the next one ready be quite a quick pot to do because the pieces are quite big and they were easy to cut out so it was quite quick and easy to prepare the, the napkins see there's a big wrinkle there but when you've got when it's in uh, really runny water it's easy to just pull it out straight without any drama make sure there's no creases or bubbles under there <laughs> Now this picture is almost the same as that picture with an extra flower so I'm not going to put it beside this I'm going to put it beside that one which is different so I'm going to position it over here because we don't want them sitting beside each other and looking all the same need to put a bit more water on here because there's a couple of wrinkles in there that aren't coming out so I need to float them out ah see how it floats easily when you've got a lot of water there that's better but it also means I've got to pour this water off before I try to get it on the pot
Now, if you're enjoying watching this video, please press the like button. And if you would like to see more, uh, just push the subscribe button and the little bell. and That'll allow you to be notified of any future videos that I might put up. Okay, so we've got all that on now and we just need to um, let that dry a little bit before we put the glue on. Now that the napkins are firmly on the pot, it's now time to coat them with Mod Podge in order to ensure that they adhere properly to the pot. And I not only coat the uh, napkins, but I coat the whole white area so that I know that all the edges are properly coated as well. And you spread the glue out so that you've got no ridges of paint left. It leaves a nice smooth finish. I've watered down this Mod, Mod Podge slightly so it's a thinner consistency so that it will soak through the napkin easily and adhere to the pot. That it's not just sitting on top of the napkin but it's actually soaked through it. And I would come back later and give it a second coat as well just to make sure that it was thoroughly glued down and that I hadn't missed any bits. Because this is sort of a, a sort of a glossy finish this particular Mod Podge, uh, once it's dry you'll see a mat and you'll see a mat area where if you've missed any glue. So if I come back a second time I can ensure that I've thoroughly coated this pot and not left any gaps whatsoever. It doesn't take long to dry. I'll come back maybe half an hour or so. It depends. Just check the instructions on your glue that you use. Decoupage glue would do the same thing as Mod Podge. There's a number of different glues on the market that would do this. I just happen to have Mod Podge in my cupboard so that's what I'm using. So that I've completely sealed under the pot as well where, see the the, those little stems come over and I want to make sure that they're properly glued down and the whole white area is covered in glue and then I just set that aside to dry just making sure there's no ridges of paint very milky areas anywhere now that the uh, glue has dried I've decided I want to add a little bit more brightness to this pot and I've got some gold acrylic paint here. Now you could use any gold acrylic paint you want. And what I want to do is not only add a little bit to some of these stems just to make them a bit brighter, but some of these flower centers too, I'll just dob some on. The gold paint that's already on there is a little bit on the dull side. So I'm just putting some little dots of this brighter gold down just to make it stand out a bit more. I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen but it does make it look a bit more interesting and dots are um, giving that centre section a bit more texture and a bit more interest and uh, I'm not completely covering in those stems I'm just adding a little bit. This one here looks as though it needs a stem also so I'm just going to add that through there and I'm going to have it coming out here now I'll have to come back with another colour later on and just add more to it because these are quite dark so um, I'll need to add more colour to it later but I'll just put the gold in there now to show me where I'm going to put it just highlight it a bit more this is another one that needs a, um, a stem I'm just going to grab a little bit of black paint. Oh, I might grab a bit of that dark blue, I think. Have a close look at this. It's more dark blue on that stem than black. So I'm going to use this London, no, Harbour Blue it is. Joe Sonia Harbour Blue. I'll just test it on uh, one of these stems just to see if it's the right sort of blue. That's pretty close. So I need to come down one side. Mm. Uh, it's not wanting to um, give me a good finish on this, probably because the 
glue is so slippery that's a lot darker I wonder if I mix those two together whether I'll get a, a darker look no I think I'm gonna to have to add some black to this as well to make that stem look right but we'll give it a go I'm just adding some of this blue to these other stems as well just so that they look as though they match this blue is pretty close but it's not exact so that helps and um, now I'm going to grab some black and just add some dark patches as well and the black I've got here is a Joe Sonia Mars black I'm just going to add the blue and the black to make it a bit darker and just add that in here as well just to uh, try and get this more color of the stems that are already there that works that's working just need to get it all to match there we are so we've got those stems in there and there's a couple of little gaps here I need to grab some white because a couple of the leaves have got a bit of a chunk out of them so I'll use this blue a little bit of white with it see this bit here there it is with a dark edge again can't tell that it's um, got a bit missing now and then we've got a darker darker blue here and it's more a greeny blue so I'll get a bit of that forest green I think which is quite dark and mix the forest green and the harbour blue together get a greeny blue and then I need to lighten it a bit down to the colour that's there it needs more blue and just fill that bit in there and then that's done as well and you can't even tell that there was a hole there so don't worry if your napkins get a bit frayed or get a little hole in them or anything. You can just mix some paint and colour match it and uh, it's all done. Now I'm very tempted to put some leaves down here but I'm not sure if it's going to look any good or not. I've added a little bit of white to forest green and I've got a liner brush. Um, a little bit of water on it and I'm rolling the brush so that it's 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 a nice long and it's got plenty of paint on it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the tip now I'll rub this out if I don't like it but I'll start on the tip I'll push down and then I'll go down, back to the tip again and I'm going to come around with a few different stems here and there leaves here and there and then I might come back and put some little patches of gold on them and make that look as though there's a bit more foliage there so that's a bit more interesting push down and then come back up to the point again don't have them all going in the same direction don't have them all the same size either don't have them all touching the stem you know they can come off the bottom of the pot as though they're coming from down below and you could even have them with a bit of a twist in them and now I've see I've gone around it looked too empty down the bottom for me so there we are to me I like that better but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with some of that gold and just put a, some little highlights of gold on these leaves so that they're not just single color got a bit of a something happening there just a little patch doesn't matter where you put it just make it a bit more interesting because this is just not a single color now if you preferred it solid color just leave it solid color don't add the patch it's up to you what you like I'd like to thank you all for watching me too I really appreciate the fact that she's been coming and watching my videos and making comments and uh, uh, some people have even given me some great ideas for future videos or information that I didn't have so I appreciate that I've had up to 25,000 views now which is amazing to me and um, I appreciate your support thank you very much I love painting and I I love showing people how to do stuff so it's it's really nice to know that you guys have been coming back and watching now I think that's all I'm going to do there I'm not going to add any more to that and it's just got a little bit of shimmer the same as the center of the flowers and the same as the stems now by just adding that little bit of gold 
It just adds a little bit of shimmer to the whole thing. It looks as though it matches. So that just makes that a little bit different from the original napkin. And now I leave that to dry and then I would come back and uh, I'll need to, I'm going to paint the rim after all this is dry. I'd like to put a gold rim on this pot to make it look very rich. But if I put gold over that, it's going to be a very dull gold. And the way to make the gold sparkle is to put a red foundation down first and then put the gold over the red. So I'm going to paint the rim red first. Now the red I happen to have is um, called Napthol Crimson. Doesn't really matter which red you use, just red. There we are. Now we'll just let that dry and then we'll come back with our gold. Now I missed the part of this uh, video, I didn't realise it wasn't filming, but I'm coming back with the gold now doing under the rim and also around the edges and I've had to give it a couple of coats because uh, the gold is a fairly transparent and uh, a lot of the red was showing through but it is, is coming up to be a nice rich colour with that red underneath it uh, and I'm really happy about that. Now, as you can see, I've now given a number of coats of paint to that rim. It's still a little bit patchy, but I'm actually going to do something interesting on there so the patchiness won't matter. I'm actually going to use both this gold, which is the Joe Sonia gold, called Pale Gold. I'm going to use a bit of that. And I've got another gold which is darker. It's from Kaiser Craft and it's just called metallic gold but it's quite a dark color if you see there see that look at the difference between those two now I've got myself a sea sponge and I went and wet it and squeezed all the water out so it's damp because if you're going to use a sponge and you want it clean again you need to dampen it first get moisture into it so that when you go to clean it it all washes out for you now see it's got nice big holes in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab this in the, the dark and I'm going to put a, get a mottledy sort of effect probably more in the dark than the light and then come back with the light because if you look there there's a dark and light look to the middle of those flowers so I just want to achieve a dark and light look to this rim as well so you could use any acrylic paint you wanted just get two different colors in the gold so it's very patchy now I might add some light on top of that as well because I want this to look very very patchy as you can see, I'm trying to get a really rough textured look to it. Now, this edge needs to be textured as well, just so it matches. Underneath the rim, I wouldn't worry about. You're going to get it on your pot if you do that. But the top of the rim can get that textured look about it. Now, let's see. Yeah, that's what I want. See that mottledy look? Not sure if you can see it as well as I can, I hope so. But it's just not a plain. But just keep working it until you're happy with it. Till you feel as though you've achieved what you're aiming to get out of the look. But I love these sea sponges for this sort of thing. But to me that that I like that. It's just got a very textured look about it. And there's two tones in the gold and then you just take this sponge and get right back and clean it straight away and you'll get all the paint out of it okay now the only other thing left to do with this now is let that dry and then you would come back and seal it with a sealer now the one I use I'll get it out and show you and I put two coats on is liquid checks acrylic medium gloss varnish that's the one I use uh, but I don't put it outside now it probably can go outside um, but I tend to use I tend to do these pots for internal use I think that's too pretty to stick in a garden so I do it for internal use so there we are there's that one done